What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Damachi. And today we're talking about Iris. Now, I've told you guys time and time again, with part three coming up in just about, a, what, a little under a week, we need 8,000 Iris in order to farm all the last parts on the new banners. I'm expecting two banners. We could get one, but I'm expecting two, if I'm honest. Uh, because for all the units we know we're going to get, like, there's really no question it's going to be an Allen, there's going to be no Taro, and there's going to be a Ryu. Uh, I think that's pretty much well defined in, in the story mode, at, the, at least at this point. I'm expecting, hopefully, fingers fingers crossed, three brand new units with their own Val bouquets and all that stuff is what I would hope for. We'll see what we get, but that's what I hope for. Because especially in those two, those those all three of those are going to be adventurers. I pretty much... And there's a possibility where you might be an assist, but I really feel like she's going to be an adventurer. Um, it just doesn't make sense the other way around, at least unless the story changes drastically. So, when we're talking about this, we're talking get ready, because I'm expecting two banners, and each banner is going to require 4,000 iris to max out. Now, they've already said they're going to give us tons of iris. We're going to get some iris from the new story. There's all of that. But, in the meantime, you want to start preparing, because there's not going to be... 8,000 iris just right there for the grabs. Now I've got 4,000 iris right here, and I'm going to see how quickly we can amass a decent amount of iris, just as quick as humanly possible. Now the first way, one of my favorite ways to just get a bunch of last minute iris, is to actually go, you'd think play some of the game that I don't have farmed up, but I'm going to tell you right now, I do keep certain levels of the game, like in story mode, especially Bell. I cleared everything up to level 30, but after that, I really only did bits and pieces of it. Um, in fact, a lot of it's not even S-cleared, because if you don't know, you can go and you can beat levels, but you can always beat levels and not S-clear it, and then save the S-clear for that extra piece of iris that you can come in and get later on in the match. It's a great way to sandbag some of this game so that you can come in and get some later. I think Leafy is almost done. Uh, Eyes has definitely got very little done on her. Uh, Ryu is completely done. But as you go in here and you complete these, you're going to get a decent amount of iris. But I want to say first, before you do that, consider a few other options. So as I was editing this up, I realized I forgot to really go into detail on two things that are probably the most critical things, uh, aside from what I'm gonna, the majority of this video is going to be based on. And number one is obviously War Game and Wrecker Buster. Now personally, I think Wrecker Buster is a little better. We're only in training War Game right now. But normally, if you go in here with the rewards, it's going to give you uh, Iris basically based on where you finish each rank. Right now, it's Hero Fallen. And that makes it stupid, stupid easy to uh, amass a whole bunch of Hero Fallen, which personally I need. Normally, the rank up rewards are also Iris. You know, each time you rank up, you get like 10 Iris. Right now, they're Valis and Falna, which isn't bad, but. Normally, in a regular war game, you get tons of Irish rewards, but because Familia War Game is on right now, well, you're not going to get Irish rewards from that. You're well, you get your Irish rewards from Familia War Game, not Training War Game. Now, Record Buster is the fun one. I think Record Buster is the one you can most reliably rely on to give you a ton of Irish, because unlike War Game, War Game is pretty much PvP. You set a really awesome team, and you hope you're able to do pretty good against the people you're coming up against. Now, there are different types of teams you'll face in Wargame, and we, that's probably a video for another day. Record Buster, on the other hand, is entirely up to you. You can build the best team you can build and just get crazy ranks. Now, obviously, you are working to rank up in the world a little bit, but this one is a little more on you and a little less PvP. Now, there is a little bit of PvP when you start to get into rank rewards and things like that, but the vast majority of your rewards very much rely on you. So, Record Buster, I think, is the best way to reliably get lots and lots and lots of Iris. I would say within my first six months of the game, I was reliably getting 1,300 uh, Iris between Wargame and Record Buster. Completely free to play, mind you. So, that's three multi three multi summons, give or take, every... What, two weeks? Yeah, it's a no-brainer. Now, Monsterphilia is another fun one. We haven't really talked about Monsterphilia, but uh, I should do my videos on Gate 9 because I've actually S-cleared all of Gate 9. I haven't S-cleared anything else, but they're actually 
kind of laughable these days. And the final one on gate 9 does have 200 Irish chilling in there. So if you haven't beaten that one and you've got a pretty stacked team, I think any more in the game, especially with the new units, it should be laughable. So I'll definitely do a video on that and add that in there. But I don't have any personal Irish I can amass out of that. But your arena screen is a great place to go get some Iris. And I think Monsterphilia really needs their new level fast. Uh, because, I'm going to be real, the current events really aren't that hard anymore. Yeah, they were really challenging when they first dropped. Before, obviously, the power creep is what it is. But, anymore, they're just not that tough. So, we'll do a whole video on that. We'll talk about that and try to use all the new units to just see how quickly we can beat them. But, for now... Just take what you get. Another great way to get some Iris is actually through the Interact screen right here. Where The Interact screen is really simple. Basically, it's a series of stories and quests. And basically, funny enough, when you get new outfits, pay, uh, usually pay outfits, the ones you get from summonable units, not free-to-plays, uh, it's going to give you a bunch of different things. Now, I know aina has got a little bit here in the outfit department. So if I go in here, go to stories, uh, the interesting thing is you do need at least one of the, whatever unit you're on. So like with Ina, I would want need one of her uh, actually on the team. And then we go through and we'll, we can ask her real quickly. If you look at the conditions here, complete the quest without losing any members and with Ina on the team. Pretty straightforward stuff. Now, story is very similar. It's literally, there's little tiny fights in there, but it's mostly just like a little side story of your character. It gives you a little more some information on them, and that's about five iris per one you can uh, complete as well. And if we go in here to outfits, every time, like I said, you get a summonable outfit, you can go in here and there's a little story. See, I'm actually missing one there. There's a little story you can get here, and it's five iris per story. Now, I'm not going to go all the way through the story, but if we skip that right there, bam. All right. That's fine. So... Boom, another five iris. So there are tons and tons and tons and tons of ways to get free-to-play iris. But one of my absolute favorites we're going to talk about here in just a second. One of my favorites and one of the easiest to do, if we go up here into inventory and go to bond, all of your two stars, every single two star that you can max limit break, every single one of those two stars that you max limit break is going to be 80 iris so there's a ton right here so we could farm up a crazy amount now i wouldn't suggest doing all of them honestly um and even when you do what i like to do is i like to make sure that i know which ones are four stars versus three or two and three stars by basically when i max limit break one i always leave the last like i put in the last bond but then i don't level them up and just leave them at like level 76 just max limit broken you get the iris for dropping the bond but you don't get iris for maxing them out so just do that and you'll be fine. Plus, every time you max them a break, you get 10 Iris. So it really helps you out. But in, a, in the end, after limit breaking a unit all the way up, like let's say for the sake of argument, uh, this Seer. Let's say this Seer is level 40. If she was level 1 and I was to take her all the way up, I would get 80 total Iris. But to be fair, you also get that from 3 stars. You really get the reward. I think at level 60, you get uh, some Iris. Level 80, you get another, uh, you get 10 more Iris. For each limit break, you get 10 Iris. And then I believe there's 10 more Iris when you complete a couple other things. So, in total, 10 Iris, or I'm sorry, 80 Iris per 2 and 3 star that you max limit break. And there's a ton of them in here for you to go through and, and play with. Now, while we're here, the other thing to mention, we talk about this at the beginning of every month, but I'm going to go in here and I'm going to sell all of my surplus bonds including four stars. If you're like me, we've been getting so many units lately, especially some of the uh, Hestias that we've had in the game forever. Some of those are units that we have in surplus. So I'm going to go sell all of my surplus bonds. Now, surplus will sell everything that you don't require for a max limit break. And because of that, I have several, apparently. What? I have a decent chunk of four stars that I don't need. All right, well, let's, let's go. That is 1,080 Sirios. So that's super handy. So I got 1,080 Sirios. I got 200 du uh, Dulb, which is the most I've ever had. Uh, so if I go in here to, if you're 
don't follow along in the first of the month if this is your first time seeing this. Basically, to get there, you hit the little gear icon here at the top. Go to Inventory, second from the top over here, and go to Bond. Okay, And then you see right above the first bond I have over there, it says Sell Multiple Items. That's how you get to that window. Now, once you have all those sold, go out here to the main screen and go to Shop. Okay? That's gotcha. That is not Shop. Go to Shop. And go to the Serious and Dolb Exchange. Pretty easy stuff. Now, I'm going to ignore my Dolb for now, and we'll talk about what to do with that. But if I go down here, you've got three-star tickets, two-star tickets. I like grabbing those because those are a possible uh, four-star. Not frequent you get one out of there, but it is a possible unit. One of my favorite things to do, though, is come down here and grab CP items. Now, I've got a 1,000. I can actually max out my dungeon cakes. Dungeon cakes are one of my absolute favorites to max out because, like, most of the units in this game take dungeon cakes. So I can just go in here. I'm not going to do it at the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm actually clear out my current CP, and then we're going to do that. But I can max this out and get 99 dungeon cakes. And each one of those dungeon cakes will account for a CP item. So that's 400 CP to the right unit. And if you don't know, CP is another great way to amass Iris. All right? So if I go in here right now, I've got a few left over. Let's see. What do I have left? Actually, funny enough, I've got dungeon sandwiches. And a lot of people use dungeon sandwiches. So if I go down here, CP reward list, it'll tell me that this is for her, uh, Haruhime. So at level 3, I get 5 iris. Level 5, I get 5 iris. Level 7, I get 5 iris. Level 9, I get 5 iris. 10, uh, 13, those are all 5 iris. And then at level 16, it starts turning 10 iris. 18 is 10 iris. Now, as you amass these rewards, it takes you longer and longer and longer to get to the next one. Case in point, for Haruhime, she is currently at CP level 40. So she needs 6,297 CP to get to level 41, okay? And level 41 would actually give me, I believe, 10 iris. Uh, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. It's way up here. 43. Yeah, 41 to give me another 10 iris. But if I go all the way down here to the bottom, I think I've got a couple units down here that I have nothing in. So Artie, for example, has nothing in her. So, and there's a reason for that, actually. Um, we'll talk about that. So if I go in here to her CP rewards... Level 3, she's currently at level 2. Level 3 will give her 5 iris. And to get to level 3, she needs 14. That's literally running like 2 or 3 events. We'll get that. Now, so you see the difference. Like, leveling up is going to work real fast. So probably, you know, 6,000, I could get to like level, what, 5 or 6 with that amount. So I'd be able to get like 20 iris with that same amount of CP items. So you really, really, really want to focus on your lower units first. That's why oftentimes at the beginning of the month, you see me kind of pick up the um, uh, the souvenirs that work for the crossover units because I really rarely work in my crossover units anymore. Um, so a lot of times at the beginning of the month, I'll get the stuff for them and start, you know, building them up. Case in point, Kaguya here is about to go up to level 16. Let's see what she would get. Uh, another 10 iris. So for 154 CP, that's one. One. In fact, to show you, uh, I do not have one at the moment, so let's go back over here to the shop. And Sirius and Dolb Exchange, and I'm going to grab just a single solitary souvenir. One. Okay? It's five Sirius. Or if I'm sorry, yeah. Five Sirius. Go over here to characters list. Go all the way down to the bottom again. And we're going to give her that one to get that 10 iris. So she was level 15. There she is. Off her present. Now the interesting thing to note. See Dungeon Sandwich is 100 CP. Orario Souvenir is 200 CP. It has the little heart next to it. When you see that little heart, that's what they favor. That's what they need. And if you give them that, you get double the rewards. Dungeon Sandwich would give her 100. No Orario Souvenir would give her 200. Now, for example, if I go down here to Alicia and I offer her present, notice now the souvenir is down to 5 CP. Normally, most things are 100 CP. But I digress. It's a weird thing. Uh, who would use the dungeon sandwich? Let's go up here. Uh, he needs roses. Uh, let's find someone who uses dungeon sandwiches. Um, Anya? Yeah. 
So now with Anya, she asks for a dungeon sandwich. So she has a little heart over there. So now it's up to 200 CP, whereas normally it's 100. So I could actually feed up Anya really, really, really quickly and get a ton of, uh, of Iris out of her. My favorite thing to do this is to go in here and to like pinpoint a level. Like I would know, let's go down here, back here to Kaguya. So I would uh, know, let's go to offer present. Bam. At 5950 CP, actually a little bit less than that, honestly, like 5900 CP, everyone's at now level 16. So then what I can do is if I need to go in here, let's just say for the sake of my argument, I was going to feed up Alicia. I know I said Dungeon Sandwich is not the best thing to use for, but let's say I was going to, I would go up here and I would know that at 5900, which is eight of these, she's level 10 now or level 16 now, and I would get 10 Iris. I'm not going to do that because she wants the other items, so I'm going to go f keep feeding units up. Case in point, let's go ahead and give, go back up here to... Where was it? It was Anya. Anya, if you look at the top corner here under where it says CP level 18, needs a 1,000 of these, so it's 5 to get to the next level. That gets her up to CP level 19. So, bam, if I want to get... Because I've got a ton, ton of these, let's go ahead and drop 5 of these. All right, that's going to get her up to 96, 96. So roughly 10,000, roughly 10,000 uh, is level 19. So now if I want to go upgrade Ganesha, who takes dungeon sandwiches, I can just go in here and take him up to 10,000. Three dungeon sandwiches, 10 more. Okay, and then I can grab Elfie. I don't know what she needs. She needs dungeon sandwiches. Let's take her up to 10,000, so on and so forth. We're starting to amass a decent amount of iris just really 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 quickly so and that's another reason why i say when you pick the dungeon sandwiches and dungeon cakes dungeon cakes would be the larger version of the dungeon sandwich which i'll go over in a moment but all of those basically will tell you right away this is where you need to be and what you need to be spending your stuff on and you get just tons and tons and tons and tons of rewards so uh i don't think she does she does okay Let's take her up to 10k. And so I've got 200 of these beasts to feed in. So I've got some room here to work on these units and to keep, you know, just amassing more and more and more until we're just, like, we're full, basically. All right? So at this point, I have amassed a little bit more Iris. I'm at 4132. And I actually go in here. And under total, the one here in the center, for every time you level up a unit, that's going to give you 10 more CP. It's basically their unit rewards. Let's see if I can... It won't let me go out of this again. I'll show you when we do it. We're going to do it one more time, and I'll show you how to go in there and do it. But we just got 105 Iris. 105 Iris just for leveling up those very small few number of units. And I barely used any CP items at all. That's why I say CP items are hands down one of my absolute favorites. I harp on about it every month. But CP items are one of my absolute favorite ways to get a ton of CP very, 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 very quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how much CP we can amass in one video. But I've got one other thing I want to talk about well, actually when it comes to CP and the current events that we can discuss. So there's one other CP item in here that's really, really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the Astray record and I'm going to go into the gotcha exchange or the gotcha in the exchange. So in the gacha, you have the Val Bouquets. This one has uh, Lyra and Kaguya. Both of those have the possibility of drops. Uh, if you haven't bought them all out of the exchange, I haven't actually bought all those out of the exchange. What's getting resolved now? Weird. I thought I did. Event unit tickets. We'll talk about that in a moment, too. But I mean, bought my smelting stones. I'm about to fix that. But I digress as I get distracted here. The Val Bouquets are right here. So you buy all those up. I believe there's like 100 of those up for grabs. They're really easy. Then after that, you can go here in the gacha. And you, you can just start amassing those. So uh, Val Bouquets for Lyra and Kaguya. And then if we go into the other one, which is still live, part one. You can get the Val Bouquets. Whenever it decides to load. Alright, you can get the, the Val Bouquets for the first part units. That's three different units you can get Val Bouquets for. This is why I said from the start of this, there is no excuse for not, for not upgrading everybody. Because once you max them out, you can get everybody you have up to level 50, and it just, it pays. 
it pays insanely. Here we go. So, obviously you can get some Hero Fall into two, but that's not really what we're talking about today. Astraea, Elise, and Artie can all get upgraded. Remember, Artie was at, like, level two? We're going to take her all the way to the top. And the other thing to bear in mind, this was just one list. That was Leafia's list. We also have Bell's CP list, which if we go in here, character list. Now, you still have the same items. We've got Lyra and Kaguya's items. we got Dungeon Sandwiches. We've got everything we need here. Um... So you've got all that. Notice Haruhime is at a different level here. And we've got a list for eyes. Each one of them have a different list. So you've got tons and tons and tons of farming you can do. Um, and once again, I know some people probably have these maxed. But this is a way that most people playing the game right now can get really crazy upgrades to, really cra like to, to their units really quickly and get tons of rewards for it. It just Haze, make sure you're doing this. Now, the other thing to note here, Australia record. If I go to the gotcha, I have over 10,000 of each. Now, I'm not going to do this on the video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break in a moment. I'm going to run all of these. I'm going to see how many Val bouquets I can get. I'm going to see how much I can get with all of that. And then we're going to jump back in and see how much Iris we can amass in one video. This is a, an afternoon's worth of work. One video. We'll see how much Iris we amass. And I won't say like I'm the, the highest level player out there by a huge margin. Uh, I, I have slacked my CP quite a bit. Hopefully you've been a little better about it than I have. But most people that we talk to in this regard, most people that are asking these questions, are newer players. A lot of the veteran players know how to save their Iris and you know have come into this. I'm talking to the new player who basically just started this game. You guys have so many opportunities to farm up a crazy amount of iris. It is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm going to go through both of these gotchas, see how many Val bouquets we can get. We're going to take it from over 10,000 down to near zero uh, and see what our final numbers are. Not only that, I'm going to go in here to the exchange. Now we talked about event units tickets. Okay, I can actually on this one buy all of the event units tickets. Bam, 100 of these bad boys. And I'm going to go over to the other side here, and I'm going to buy up almost all of these. To the exchange, event units, tickets, bam. I actually got a few more I could farm up there, and I might try to do that before we reconvene. But if you use those events, units, tickets, they actually go back over here to the shop under special exchange. Okay, You're going to come down here to the events, units, exchange. This one right here that has... Uh, <clears throat> that nice Christmas lily in there. You're going to go to Event Units Exchange, and in here, you can actually pick a bunch of different units out. Now, there's this is all the free-to-play units. There are some good free-to-play units in here. There are some questionable ones, but most of these I have maxed out. Now, this is where I start to probably talk to my more veteran players. If you guys weren't aware that this was an option, you can actually go in here, and you could buy... All of these units. Now, every single one of these I have completely maxed out. I'm not worried about it. Uh, some of these units are really good. Gift Goddess Hestia, I use her all the time. Producer Hermes, I use him all the time. Uh, Ready to Act Bell isn't bad. Mord has kind of fallen off the map, but he's still respectable. Dreamy Swimmer, Freya, use her all the time. Um, basically, any of the assists in here you definitely want. The assists are absolutely critical. But since I've got all mine maxed, I'm just going to grab whatever I want here. I'm going to grab Chloe, because she's my absolute favorite. I can max these out. Gives me three bonds of her. I have 34, so I could actually go get one more bond to her. Now, that gives me three bonds of her, and you can guess where I'm about to go. Inventory. Bond. Sell multiple items. Four stars. Surplus. It's going to sell all three of those and add almost 200 nearly 200 serious now i did say earlier that dolb comes from four stars dolbs are the black gems they come from four stars the free-to-play units don't give give you any dolb but they do give you 50 so it's actually 150 exactly uh hunt they do give you 50 serious per unit so in that case it actually would be worth my time to go back into the exchange and farm up the rest of those tickets so that i could sell her because really I want those extra 50 Serios. So, going back in here to the event units exchange. 
sorry, the the Sirius and Dupe exchange. Got distracted there for a moment. I can go buy even more. I can buy all the dungeon cakes. I can buy, in fact, I can almost buy all the dungeon sandwiches if I do just a little bit more farming, uh, or a little bit more summoning. Technically, I can't do any more farming for the uh, event units exchange. But when part three gets here, we actually will get a hundred more of those. So you can do some farming on that. There's going to be Actually, when the event units exchange arrives for part three, that will be, you can pretty much guesstimate, it's going to be one Sirios per event unit ticket you spend. So you can get ba -ba 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 -ba, almost, almost every single one of these two units. Just off what we did today. So super easy. So super easy. Now, I'm not saying everybody's going to get that much Sirius. You probably don't have that many summons that you've done or that are laying around. But we did do a ton of three-star and two-star tickets last month. So if you didn't do this at the beginning of the month, you're going to have tons of Sirius. Tons of it. And once again, it's still early in the month. It's the seventh of the month. And we have, it's going to, everything's going to reset at the end of August and September. So before part three is ended, you're going to have more options to farm these up, even if you max them out. So this is crazy. This is why I say this is my favorite way to, to obtain a ton of iris okay so let's kind of cover all of our bases here so cp levels you got cp levels that's what we basically spent the last 20 minutes talking about you've got sub story events that you can farm up i like to save as much the, uh, as much of that as possible but if i do max out one of these to get a little bit more i will talk about that i'm going to try not to though uh farming the events for the Vow Bouquets, the Events Units Exchange, all that. Even if you max all your units and you use the Vow Bouquets, while they are only 5 CP, if you're using it on lower level units, it might work out for in your favor. I don't know, it's the best use of your time, but it's a thing. The other thing I would recommend, uh, last year after the anniversary, they did increase CP levels from 30 to 50. I don't know that they're going to do that again, but having some extra Vow Bouquets on hand, over farming them, isn't a bad thing especially if they do that again if they increase the cap even if you hold on to them for a year whatever at some point when they increase that cp max again you'll be ready and there's gonna be more rewards there so just ways to plan ahead so i'm gonna go ahead and take a little break here i'll be right back i'm gonna sell all my stuff and we'll talk about all these different ways that you can get a ton of free to play iris really really fast like i said We'll see how much we can get. I don't think I'm going to touch the story. I think I'm going to leave the story undone. If we need to, we'll come back and do a little bit of that. Pretty much everything I'm going to do is kind of, well, CP levels. It's it's the best way. And maybe we'll max one or two, one or two, two stars and three stars. And we'll just see. We'll see how much we can amass in one video. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. So I've went ahead and spent all the gacha tickets. If I go in here, I can show you. All 10,000 are gone from both this one and this one okay now i'm gonna be real i didn't get as many val bouquets as i kind of wanted but we did get a ton of cp items now there were already a few in here i think we got like a hundred and because i did spend a few dungeon sandwiches too so i think we got like a hundred plus 120 or so dungeon sandwiches a few books of knowledge single flowers and then we got all these all these val bouquets tons and tons of them i think we had a hundred those already anyway so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and just feed these in at a reasonable interval. I'm going to start, obviously, I believe Artie down here has like nothing in her. So I'm going to, oh, in fact, Kaguya does, doesn't have anything in her. So I'm going to go ahead and max her out and see where we get with her. Now, the wiser way to do this, if you're hunting Iris, would obviously be to feed in a little bit, get them up to certain levels, and then build them up from there. Case in point, if we go back down here to the bottom... I haven't given Lyra anything. So let's get her up to like level 15. So let's see. Uh, level 15 is what? 5,000 ish. So let's do that. Let's get Lyra up to 5,000. If we go down here, we use her Val Bouquets. It's 500 at a time. That's 15,000. So let's go down here. There we are. So 10 would be 5,000, obviously, because it's 500 intervals. Bam, and that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and it's some hero fallen. Up. So I got 30 iris just chilling there right now. And remember, not only that, we're also getting iris from the guild, the guild reward. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to build this up little by little. It's going to take me a few minutes, so pardon me for a moment, I'll be right back. 
So we started this off with 4,122. I've sold all, and I mean all of my CP items. Now, I was a little more intelligent about it. I went through and got most everybody up to level 20. Uh, there's a few units that aren't quite there yet. Uh, I did buy a few extra things with some serious I had laying around. So I've got no serious left. I've got some dope left. I'm going to save all that. Um, and so I bought some more dungeon sandwiches. I bought out all my books, or I'm sorry, all my souvenirs. And I bought all the big bouquets. So everything in, everything we've done over the past few hours, basically all this afternoon, I have gained almost a thousand iris. Now, I'm not done yet. And this is the, to bear in mind, um, I did forget to mention about it earlier in there, but I'm going to splice something in earlier uh, in the video. Uh, I've completely forgot to mention the interact screen. There's a ton more iris you can farm up here. I've done none of this. Um, I get it like one outfit that's five iris. Uh, you know, I played a little bit of the game. I haven't finished any more story events. And we got a little bit of rewards from Familia Wargame, but nothing too crazy. So, that's that. That's what I've done. Now, the one thing I haven't done is go over here and... Ah, that's a valid point. I didn't talk about that. Talking to characters. So, as you talk to characters throughout the, the thing here, you are going to amass CP. And every time you fight... Let's just go into the main story mode here and I'll just do a quick fight here. No big deal. As you fight, you're also going to mass CP for all the units that are on your team. That's why I like to put a lot of uh, the crossover units on the team. So that, and obviously Otaro, just because he wrecks it so quickly. I put a lot of the crossover units on the team so that I can just amass a lot of CP for them. Especially the ones I use on the regular. So, rather than skipping this, if I go right here, everybody gets about 3 CP. So... If you're grinding story event, you'll get a lot more a lot quicker. See, Otaro's even about to level up to 31 here within the next few fights. So, there are lots more ways to do this. And you would just amass that as you're playing it. But, we are almost at, almost at, 5100. So, let's go ahead and go into guild here. Because, remember I said there's a ton more that we could farm up right here. As you increase levels, this is Bell level 23 by 45. I have 45 units to level 23. It's going to reward me for that. Did a couple of limit breaks last night. I didn't take those rewards. So all of this right here, plus your daily rewards for doing war game and obviously finishing all the daily events, which I haven't finished for today, but I'll finish those shortly. Lots and lots and lots of rewards. So let's go ahead and grab all these. So just in this first lot of rewards, which there will be more, just in this first lot of rewards, 220 iris. But we're not done here. We're not done here. We've now amassed over 1,100, almost 1,150, well, actually a little over 1,150, 1,152 iris, 1,152, yeah, 1,152 iris, I believe, maybe more than that, 80 more iris, okay, so that's it for the guild, so we started at a little over 4,100, we are now just north of, in fact, just south of 5,400, so there's tons and tons and tons of iris if you really want to sit down and get crazy about it. Now, once again, that does require that you kind of do uh, a decent amount of summoning, which, you know, we had all those three-star tickets and all that. Um, but you're, you're going to be doing a lot of that anyway during the anniversary. So if you need Iris, that's a great way to acquire it. And like I said, I've even touched the Interact window, maybe did like one outfit, that's it. Uh, and there's a ton in there. If I go into Interact... You'll see everybody that has an exclamation point probably has either some story left or a new outfit or something. I haven't touched. I haven't even touched that. I haven't done any new story events in the main storylines here. So there's still a ton of virus to farm up there. So if I really needed to, I could be up to 8k like by Wednesday without question. But I'm going to play it cool and I'm going to chill because we've got continual uh rewards coming in for uh familia war game hopefully we'll be getting you know a few more things here and there and honestly at 5300 i'm not losing sweat like when we get the new story event we'll probably get more than enough to at least get up to 6,000, maybe even more than that who knows maybe there'll be a big irish reward going up to that so that is that guys make sure you are farming your iris because there's a ton of it in here and there's even more like when war game like proper war game is back on there's a decent amount you can get out of there record buster should be back on wednesday there's a decent amount in there uh if you're uh, 
participating in Familia War Game. There's a decent amount in there. And I completely forgot the new Familia missions. Whereas if you go in here, you can actually log in every day and get a decent amount through here. So it just makes sense, guys. Make sure you're doing all this. Take advantage of everything. There are so many ways this game will reward you very, very quickly. So log in, farm, get your stuff up there. I'm at 5,300. My goal is to be at about 6,000-ish, which once for me the war game ends, we should easily be there. Um, 6,000 ish by the time the event drops means that I just have to farm up 2,000 and That should be really 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 simple with all the summons we're going to be doing and everything there So super easy and like I said if I haven't shown you anything today It's that I could beat 8k with my game so much faster and if you ha if you haven't been doing your CP levels you probably are sitting on a gold mine because remember, like most of my units were like at CP level 15 to 20, and I took most of mine up to 20 to 30. If you are sitting at CP level like, you know, five or so with most of your units, or even if you haven't done any in a lot of units, feed in those lower level units, keep those things in mind that I taught you, and you will amass a crazy amount of virus very, very quickly. The goal is 8K by Wednesday, but if you don't have that, don't worry, we will have a lot of opportunities to get Iris in the new event, so you will have plenty of time. But for now, that is going to be the video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments section down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.